Hello and welcome to today's social studies lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Very good. And next, we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And then, let's go down low. Touch our toes. Next, can we go up high again? And this time, let's go tippy toe high. And when we're there, let's have a wave. And then back down to touch our toes. And now we'll stand up straight. Let's do some rotations. We'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Now for some stretches. We'll do five to our left first. One, two, three, four, five. And next, we'll do five to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent guys, now let's have a shake. Shake it out, arms and legs. Shake it out with your arms and legs. Very good. And to finish, we'll do five jumps and we'll just go straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent guys, have a seat. So today in social studies class, we're going to have a review of some things that we've learned about in earlier lessons. The first word we're going to look at is environment. environment. Excellent guys. Can anybody remember how we spell environment? E-N-V-I-R-O-N. -E M E N T environment. Can we say again environment? Environment. 
And what does environment mean? Environment is the things that are around us. Wherever we are in the world, our environment is the things we see around us. Now I just heard a very good example. Down, what did you say? Mountains. Yes, where we are here, we're surrounded by mountains. So mountains is part of our environment. How do we spell mountains, guys? M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N-S. Mountains. Excellent. Any other examples, Pakbun? Buildings. Yes, where are we now? School. School. What type of place is a school? Building. School is a building. Excellent. Buildings. B U I L D I N G S. Buildings. For example, school, house, hospital, shop. They're all examples of buildings. Proud, do you have another example? Fields. Fields. Yes. If we go outside, we can see lots of lovely green fields that are used for crops and growing things. How do we spell fields? L-I-E-L-D-S. Excellent, guys. So, so far for our environment, we have mountains, mountains. Buildings, buildings, fields. Yeah. But how about, let's think about water. What do we see around water? Yes, but what types of water do we have in our environment? Rivers. Rivers or ponds? Ocean, yes. But around here we have river. So R. I V E R or pond. P O N D. So these are five good examples of the environment around us in Chiang Rai. Mountains, buildings, fields, river, and ponds. And the second thing that we're going to have a look at again is something that we can take from the earth naturally. We don't have to make them, they already occur naturally. Does anybody remember what we call these things? Natural resources. Excellent. Natural resources. N A T U R A L. Natural. And resources. R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E-S -E -E Natural resources So let's see, can we think of any examples guys? Nadia? Excellent. Water is a very good example of natural resource. How do we spell water guys? Excellent. Where does water come from? We can say river or pond. Pro. Air. Air. Excellent. Air is everywhere. Is air in this room now? Yes. yes. Can we see it? No. Can we smell it? No. No. Can we taste it? No. no. But air is everywhere. It's a great example of natural resource a i r any more ideas guys like go wood where does wood come from trees excellent wood w o o d soil soil where does soil come from soil comes from the ground excellent example of natural resource we have water, water air, air wood, wood and, soil. and soil these are all examples of 
natural resources. So that was excellent, guys. Very well remembered. <laughs> and what we're going to do today is we're going to explore these two types of things, environment and natural resources, but we're going to look at them in two different ways. We're going to look at them in one way, which was previously. Does anyone know what we call things that occurred previously? We have the past. Excellent. Past is P-A-S-T. The past is like last week, five years ago. Anything that occurred previously is what we call past, okay? And there's another word we use for now. Does anybody know the word? Also beginning with P, we use for now. Presence, okay? So we're going to look at past and present. P R E S E N T. Past and Present. present excellent guys past is already occurred present is now this time so let's review the vocabulary one more time first of all we had environment and examples of environment in Shanghai mountains buildings fields river and ponds and then we looked at natural resources. And these natural resources, they're not just in Chiang Rai, they're everywhere. We have water, water air, air, wood, and soil. And once again, we're looking at them in the past and in the present. So excellent guys, well done. what we have now we have a powerpoint presentation so that we can better explore environment and natural resources that occurred in the past and are now happening in the present so let's turn our chairs to have a look at the tv screen guys so let's take a look at our powerpoint presentation about past, past. And, and present In the, past, in the past, places of dwelling. Places of living. What does that mean? Places of dwelling. What do we think that means? Home. Home. Excellent. Can you see how houses used to be in the past? Do we live in houses like this now? No. no. These are how people used to live in the past. We have a house made of stone that's dug into the earth. Is it tall? No. no, it's a very small house. Maybe only one or two people could live here. And how about this place? Have you seen houses like this before? Yes, yes I have too. There are some houses still like this in Thailand. Do you notice the way they are on wooden beams? Do you know why they are on wooden beams like this? Because sometimes you see the water, if it rains heavy, like in the rainy season, what will happen to the water? The water will rise. Therefore, the houses need to be high so that the water does not come into the house. So we have the houses on wooden beams to keep them away from the water. In the past, in the past places, of places of dwelling. Does anybody live in a house like this? No. no. At present, At present places, of dwelling, places of dwelling, yes. Modern houses now are made of stone or 
concrete. concrete. Yes. You notice here, what's this house made of? Wood. wood. Houses nowadays are not made of wood. They are made of stone or concrete. And what do they look like? You can see, are they small or big? big? Very big. In some countries like America and Europe, the houses are five or six floors. And you see, they're also different colours. What colour is the house in the middle? Blue, Blue house. Here we have grey, brown or grey. And this one also blue. So at present, at present places, of dwelling. places of dwelling. In the past, in the past. Occupation. occupation. What does occupation mean? Job. 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 Yes. These are the types of jobs people used to do in the past. Does anybody know what type of animal this is? Buffalo. buffalo. What is a buffalo used for? Plowing the fields. Plowing the fields. Yes. Where do you think? Is this in Thailand? Yes. 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 I think it looks like it could be Thailand. Is it the hot season? No. What season do you think? Rainy. It? Rainy season. And you see the man is working wearing a hat to protect him from the rain. So in the past, in the past occupation. occupation, people would work with animals to plough the fields. At present, At present occupation. occupation. Yes, nowadays people work using, what is this? Computer. Computer. Or Headset or headphones. Nowadays, people use a lot of technology. technology. And for technology, what do we need? Electricity. Electricity. Yes. For computers and televisions. So at present, at present. occupation. In the past, in the past. Transportation. transportation. Yes. Look at this person here. How are they traveling? Walking. Walking. In the past, maybe, let's see, 200 years ago, did they have cars? No. no. Did they have motorbikes? No. Planes? No. no. So people had to walk. walk. Or maybe, they would use horses. People would ride horses. But mainly, they would travel by walking. walking. So in the past, in the past. Transportation. transportation. And you can see here, they're using what type of animal? Horses, yes. And also, in the past, if we wanted to travel on water, we would use boats. boats. Yes, not ships. Ships are modern. Ships are very big. But in the past, we had smaller types, which are boats. At present, transportation. transportation. What can you see in the picture? Car. A car, a supercar. This is a Ferrari. Ferrari. Yes. Does this look like a nice car? Yes. yes. Do we have cars nowadays? Yes. yes. That's how, how most people get around now will be in cars. When you are older, you will learn how to drive cars. How else do people travel now? Airplane. Airplane. Any other ideas? Train, good example, yes, trains. But we have airplane. airplane. And in the past, 
We had A. A. What colour is the sky? Blue. Clear blue sky. In the past, the A was very clean. But nowadays, because lots of people work and travel, do you remember the word pollution? pollution. Yes. That makes the air dirty sometimes. So at present, at present air, air can be polluted. Can be yes, you can see when the air is dirty. Is that a blue sky? No. no. Which picture looks nicer in the past or at present? In the past. In the past because no pollution but nowadays we have pollution in the past, in the past. Dressing. dressing dressing yes you can see the costume that this lady is wearing is traditional what country do we think is this Thailand no, no. is it England no, no. I think Japan too. It's like a traditional Japanese dress. Is it pretty? Yes. Yes, I think so. Do you have a dress like this? No. Would you like to have? Yes. yes. But how do people dress now? At present, At present. Dressing. dressing. You can see ladies sometimes they wear shoes that are tall. When you're older, you might wear tall shoes like these. Do you know what they're called? High heels. High heels. Yes. I think they look very difficult to walk in. I don't have these types of shoes. But if you're older, ladies, you might wear high heels. High heels. So at present, at present. Dressing. dressing. Any questions, guys? No. Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation about environment and natural resources. And our two words again, guys, past, past. And, present. and present. So what we're going to do now is we'll have a flash activity to see if our students can differentiate between past and present. So for this activity, teachers, you'll need to print off the flashcards and cut them into individual pictures. And we need to begin by having two columns on the board. So in the past, we will say I-N-T-H-E. And our word again, past, P-A-S-T. In the past. And now, at present. As present. A, A T P R E S E N T. Okay, so we have our two columns. In the past. In the past. At present. At present. So what I'll do now, I'll ask my students to close their eyes and I'll give them each one by one a flashcard. Students need to look at the picture and decide if it's from in the past or if it's from at present. So let's begin. Okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the flashcard down? Come and join me at the front. Okay, can you show your friends your picture? What do we think, guys? Is this in the past or is this now, at present? At present. What can we see in the picture? Okay. iPad or telephone. So we have technology. technology. And we can place it at present. So can you place it for me, please, Dan? And we can say... Technology, Technology at, present. at present. 
Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Dan. <laughs> Let's see who will be next. Okay, let's open our eyes, please, guys. Who has the flashcards? Bang Pon, come and join me at the front. Okay, show your friends your flashcards. What can we see? Oh, horses. horses. This is transportation. Can we say transportation? Now, do we think it's transportation at present? Or transportation in the past. In the past. Excellent. It's in the past. So, Pangpon, can we? Yes. We'll put it on our column. In the past. Excellent. And let's all say together: transportation. Transportation. In the past. In the past. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pangpon. Okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Nadia, come and join me at the front. And what can we see here? We have wood. Somebody is carving wood. This is occupation. occupation. Yes, this is a job somebody would do. Now, would they do it at present? Or would they do it in the past? In the past. Excellent. Very well done. So Nadia, it can go in the past. And we can say together, occupation, occupation. In, the past. in the past. Excellent, Nadia. High five. Big round of applause. So teachers, you can see the flash activity that we're doing in our classroom. Now, we're going to continue play until all of the flashcards have been used. You can pause the video now and do the same activity with your students for around the next 10 minutes. And we'll continue to play here. So let's see who's next. Okay, guys, let's open our eyes. Pat, come and join me at the front. You can hold it up, show your friends. Okay, so what do we think, guys? What can we see here? Dress. dress. Now, do we think this is dress from in the past? Or do we think it's dress from at present? At present. Yes, remember the shoes, high heels. This is from at present. Present. So, Pat, can you put it in the correct column? At present. Yes. Okay, very well done. And we can say together, dress, dress. At, present. at present. Excellent. Pat, high five, big round of applause. Okay, guys, open your eyes. Who has the flashcard? Pak Bung, come and join me. Show it to your friends and hold it up so they can see. What do we have, guys? Home or houses. Are they houses in the past? At present. Excellent. Well done, Dan. So we can place it in which column? At present. Not the past, at present. And let's say together, houses, houses. At, present. at present. Excellent, Pak Boom, that was very good. High five, big round of applause for Pak Boom. <laughs> let's see, who's next? Open our eyes please, guys. Okay, Chu, come and join me at the front. 
and show your flashcards so your friends can see. What can you see, guys? Car. Car. Is it a nice car? Yes. Ferrari supercar. Do we think they had these cars in the past? No. No. When do we have these cars? At present. Excellent. So two, you can put it in this column. Very good. And we can say transportation, transportation. at present. At Perfect. Chu, high five. Big round of applause for Chu. Okay, open our eyes, please, guys. Lakau, come and join me at the front. Flashcard, hi. Okay. Can we hold it up high? That's excellent. What do we see in the picture? Remember, dress. Yes. Now, is this dress from, remember we said it was from what country? Japan. Japan. Now, is this dress from present or past? Past. So we can say, in the past. Excellent, Lakau. Can you place it in the correct column? And say together, dress. In the past. In the past. Brilliant. High five. Round of applause. <laughs> and we have one more flashcard. Who hasn't been yet? Okay. Let's open our eyes. Net, come and join me at the front. Show your friends your flashcard. Can you hold it high? What can we see in the picture, guys? Home, home or house. At present, does it look like this home? No. no. So this is a home in the past. So, Ned, can you stick it in this column here? Excellent. And we can say home in the past. Brilliant, guys. Net, high five. Big round of applause for Net. <laughs> so, guys, we have occupation, occupation. In, the past. in the past. Dress, Dress. In, the past. in the past. Transportation, Transportation. In, the past. in the past. And home, and home. in the past. And now we have home at present. Transportation at present. We have dress at present. And technology or occupation at present. Excellent, guys. Very well done. And now it's time for our stretch sequence, guys. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we're going to have a game of teacher says. So listen carefully. If teacher says, we can do. If teacher doesn't say, we can't do. Hands on head. Hands on shoulders. Teacher says, put your hands on your hips. Teacher says, have a wiggle. Stop. Teacher says, stop wiggling. Teacher says, jog on the spot. Teacher says, quickly. Teacher says, stop. Jog on the spot. <laughs> Teacher says, jog on the spot. Stop. Teacher says jog on the spot. Quickly! Teacher says stop. Teacher says turn around. Turn back around. Very good. Teacher says let's go into a ball. Five, four, three, 
two, one, jump. <laughs> Teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. Teacher says, sit down. And teacher says, it's now time for our worksheet activity. So teachers, what we need to do is we need to print off the worksheets for each student in our class. And you'll notice there are two separate sheets for this activity. What our students need to do is they need to look at the various pictures on the first worksheet and cut them out. And our students can colour them in too. And then, on the second worksheet, we have two columns. We have, are you ready guys? In the past. In the past. And at present. At present. What our students need to do is they need to cut out the pictures and decide if they are from in the past or if they're from at present. And you can glue them to the correct column. And if you have time, colour them in too. But what's the first thing we need to do, guys? Write our names on top. And teachers, give our students around 15 minutes for this activity and help them with anything they need. Okay? So, Nadia. Come for you. Pat, for you. You're welcome. Dan, here's your sheets. You're welcome. Ned, for you. You're welcome. Pro, these are for you. You're welcome. Bang bon, here's your sheets. Thank you. You're welcome. Black girl, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Two, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And here we have, oh, sorry, Pak Bung, these are for you. So for this activity, our students will all need, our students will all need scissors. So make sure to be careful when you're cutting out your pictures, guys. And if you need any help, let me know. So for example, teacher will give you one example to begin. You see here, this feather. You see this feather? This is a pen in the past. They used to write with something called a quill. So this one here, in the past. And then you can see the pen we have at present. So this one in the past and this one at present. You're welcome. Ned, okay? That's okay. So if you have any questions or you need any help guys, let me know. So this one here at present, like car, is at present will go here and then this one in the past a candle quill in the past so you can cut first and stick them into the columns Excellent, Nadia. Might be a good idea to colour first, guys, before cutting. So, telephone. Let me see. Telephone, like this. Do you, is this from in the past or at present? At present. Excellent. You see this picture here? You know what this is? Telephone. But this is a telephone from a hundred years ago. So this one's in the past. Horse. Transport in the past. Excellent, Ned. Excellent, yes, that's very good. Transportation in the past, bang pong, well done.
Excellent, Nadia. Dan, very nice. Do you know what this is? No. Telephone. Telephone. But telephone in the past. Telephone at present. At present. Telephone, telephone in the past. In the past. This is past. I think. Past I think now. I think we can dress like this now. He looks like maybe a scout. I think this is in the past. This dress here is in the past. Present. Now, net, nowadays we have lights, we have electricity. Yes, so this is at present. Perfect. Yes, we have car, transport at the present and telephone. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed their worksheet activity where they had to cut out the various pictures and place them in the correct columns. Ready guys? In the past. In the past. Or at present. At present. And some of the things we've looked at today. Houses. Houses. Dressing. Dressing. Occupation. Occupation. And transportation. Excellent guys, very good job, well done. <laughs> and that's the end of today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it, found it interesting and had some fun too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye guys? Goodbye. Bye bye, see you again soon.